What's up guys, Andrew again with StrengthWorks TV here, and today we're going to talk about why your bench press so The first problem I always see is guys that dance the feet around on the floor, all the feet not staying on the floor. Instead of the feet having full contact with the ground, as the weight gets heavy, they start moving the feet around, losing contact, and this will throw your stabilization off completely. The second thing I see all the time is the butt coming off the bench which any power lifter will know is a bad lift. When the butt comes off the bench, that shows that you're using improper use of leg drive, and I'm gonna cover how to use it correctly later in the video. The third thing I see all the time is the shoulders not set, retracted and back into the bench. This goes along with the feet being on the floor as it helps you stabilize and actually helps protect the shoulders while bench pressing. All right, now we're gonna get into the correct technique for a proper bench press. The first thing I like to show guys is proper grip and hand placement on the bar. What you wanna do is take a grip that allows your wrist and your elbows to be in line with each other during the bench press. I see a lot of guys taking a grip that's way too close or a grip that is way too wide. And this is more for general strength purposes. The second thing, and this is huge, is knowing how to retract the shoulder blades onto the bench press. Like I said earlier, this is gonna help with stabilization, help you use the correct muscle groups during the bench press, and also keep your shoulders safer as you're benching. To go along with retracting the shoulders, you wanna make sure your chest is up. What this will do is one, shorten the range of motion for that the bar has to travel, and two, it's gonna create a small arch in your lower back which is perfectly fine and normal. That's what we want to do. Third thing we gotta talk about is the feet. The feet need to remain on the floor in contact with the floor the entire time. Now, when dealing with leg drive, what you wanna do is to push back towards the other end of the bench instead of up. When you push up, that's when you see people's butts coming off the bench. Now again, this is just a general strength setup for the bench press. I know that you can bench with your feet, your heels, excuse me, off the ground, but we're just talking about general strength here. All right, the last thing we're gonna talk about is the actual path of the bar while bench pressing. Now, the incorrect bar path that you'll see with most inexperienced lifters is that the bar fluctuates too much. The first thing that should happen is when the bar touches your chest, the joints should be aligned, the wrist and the elbow, like we talked about earlier, talking about grip. And when we begin to push back up, you need to push slightly back and then back up because the bar needs to return over the shoulder joint for a proper bench press bar path. All right guys, that's it for this time. If you liked it, please leave a like, leave any questions, comments, or concerns down below, and I'll see you next time. Which any powerlifter will know that's a red light in any federation. Any federation.